Here's Ken on the VF 750 Interceptor. Friday morning at the museum. Hi, it's Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this bike, I think, needs no introduction, uh, but I'll give it one. It's a V45 Interceptor. This is the forefather of the Superbike era. Um, if you know a little bit about the history of Superbike racing, in the late 70s, the bikes had ridiculous amount of horsepower. It was a 1,000cc Superbike class. And if you watched the uh, uh, Turn 5 at Daytona, the guys had come out of the corner with the bikes wobbling and uh, the, the, the power of the motors had completely exceeded what the suspension and uh, brakes and the frame could handle. So the AMA decided in 1983, the year this bike was made, they didn't give the factories a lot of time to, to react, but they changed the rules. The Superbike class now had a limit of 750 cc's. So Honda went to, the starter, went to the drawing board and started over, and they created this. This was the bike that dominated Superbike racing until the GSX-R 750 came out. Let's see, 83 to 4 to 5, 86, four years later. So um, this was the bike to beat. This is the one Freddie Spencer kicked everybody's ass on. It's the one everyone wanted. It's the one everyone wanted. So this bike right here, they, this bike, when Freddie Spencer rode the factory uh, 1000 uh, Superbike, he, he, uh, they gave him a street version. He got off it and said, do you guys really race this thing? Because he hated it. It handled, hor handled horribly. So Honda went back to the drawing board. They built this perimeter frame. They took the Honda Sabre 750 engine and hopped it up. This is a, um, they took the engine and actually tilted it back 15 degrees in the frame so it was a little more balanced and they redid the entire machine. So um, they built the uh, frame to suit this engine. The engine stock about 90 horsepower but the race versions were easily pushing 132 horsepower at the rear wheel and uh, they were fast and more importantly they handled great. They set new track records at Daytona and uh, they won five Superbike champions, championships with the V45 Interceptor. So finding one of these still stock and original like this is extremely rare most of them got modified most of them got raced and this was a homologation special they only made enough of them in 1983 to make it legal so they weren't honda wasn't sure how well this bike would sell so that it was a limited production model and it sold like hotcakes they kind of underestimated the um and it's a beautiful bike if you look at the badges on the tank do a close-up on the badge it's got the uh four color honda badge uh, wing. Uh, it's a deep dark red with the white. It just looks, even to this day, let's see, it's uh, what, 36 years later, the bike still looks hot. So kind of like a Porsche 911, it's a timeless design that's been copied over and over by other manufacturers. And, uh, and uh, this thing's bone stock, 100% original, right down to the uh, exhaust system on it. So um, two rider bike, the same owners own it for 36 years. It starts right up. It is rideable. I went through all six gears, the clutch, tranny, everything seems good. I ran it down to the service department, had them do a quick once over on it. They said it needs new cam chain tensioners because the cam chain's a little noisy. Um, and there were a couple other issues it needs to have taken care of. I'll let Kenny uh, mention those. Uh, Kenny, off the top of your head, do you remember exactly what it was? I know it needs tires and brakes probably. Right? Yep, so uh, it needs new wheel bearings, uh, fork seals, if I can recall correctly uh it needs a new clutch slave piston it, if that's correct we'll check with mark it's a hydraulic clutch that's yeah that's correct yeah it is a hydraulic clutch we'll check with mark and all the information um that we know about the bike will be in the description so. if you are a superbike collector if you are a honda collector this is a very significant significant motorcycle first year of the 750 superbike class this one won daytona won most of the major races it kicked ass. Um, it, it did not win the championship its first year, though. Kawasaki won that. So, um, but Honda bounced back and won five championships with this bike. So, um, it is absolutely a classic. This one's original. Uh, has a lot of potential for restoration or keep it exactly the way it is. Uh, it has been down at one point. The fairing is scratched on this side right here. Um, so, obviously, the uh, uh, um, lever is also scratched. So... But uh, didn't get much major. It didn't really get that much damage. It was dropped in the driveway, uh, bent the turn signal down, which uh, can easily be re replaced or repaired. So, awesome bike. Uh, would make a great gift for someone, a Honda lover. Uh, buy it for yourself if you'd like. 
We ship it anywhere in the country, uh, pretty inexpensively. I'll let Kenny uh, explain that. Yeah, eBay Messages, your postal code for an exact quote up and down the, the East Coast here, very affordably, uh, down the southern states all the way to L.A. affordably. Um, flat rates uh, Midwest and westward. So give us a call, shoot us an eBay message with your postal code. We'll get you a quick quote. Good luck bidding on it, and God bless America.